In the previous lecture, we saw how can we use Google in footprinting using Google Hacking Database. And we saw that using some of the keywords or Google Operator, also known as Google Dorks, I can search for sensitive information such as username and password. I can search for computer who have a remote desktop allowed. I can search for any services that is uh, available uh, to be configured uh, as a web-based services, uh, things like IP printers or IP cams, and we did a small demonstration accessing IP cams. So we saw how can we do that using keywords in Google and using Google Hacking Database. And we saw even from where can we get Google Hacking Database. Now, it will be easier if I have a tools that search for me. I just need to specify what kind of information I'm looking for and which website, and he will search and crawl the full website, trying to get me a results. In this lecture, I'm gonna show you a very, very useful tool that will allow you to crawl any domain and check for any kind of information that could be available and download them for you. And not just that, but also it will give you a great report telling you what has been found and what has been downloaded. And you can use this report to, uh, 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 or you can add this report to your penetration testing or SQL hacking report and provide it to your customer or uh, your management. Now let's see this tool, which is the Meta Go, uh, Go field. So I'm gonna go to my Kali Linux machine. And we're gonna type Meta Go field. Now by default, this program is not installed. So if you try to type Meta Go fill and you press on enter it will give you a message that this program it's not installed so what you need to do is to install it first and i'm going to show you how to install this program in kali linux but you can use the same command to install any other programs that you want so how to install this program you just need to type apt minus get install meta go fill now i will not install it because i already have this program with me and I want to remind you that we used apt-get before to, to update and upgrade Linux. The same command is used to install any program, download and install any program on my, uh, on your Kali Linux box. Now, since it's already installed, so I'm going to try to run it. So we're going to type meta go fill and he's going to give you how it can be used. So to be able to use meta go fill, you need to type it this way meta go fill minus py uh, minus d which is for the domain and you specify which domain you want to search for minus t which is uh, what kind of file you are looking on this domain in this case is document file and pdf file minus l which is the search range it will be 200 and minus n which is the number of files that you want to download 50 20 100 so he will download 50 files that has document or PDF extension from this domain. And then minus O, that will specify those files that will be downloaded, where exactly they will be saved. They will be saved in a folder called apples. Then minus F, which will be the result, the report that includes the result, it will be inside result.html. Now let's take this comment, copy and paste, and let's use it, but let's do some modification from it. So I'm going to click on copy and uh, let me clear the screen first and then paste and I will do a few changes. So instead of having apple.com, for instance, I'm going to put IBM. This is only for proof of concept uh, .com. Then I'm going to ask him to download document and PDF. Uh, minus L200, I'll keep it this way. 50 is too much, let's make it 15. Okay. And then minus O, I'm gonna create a folder under the name of IBM. And uh, also the, let me delete this one. 
and the file name I'm gonna name it also instead of result let me name it IBM as well now excellent and then we press enter so I ask him to download any PDF or document from this specific uh, folder and then enter oh yeah uh, you should not use dot py so only meta go fill that's it so let me remove this dot py and press enter and as you can see you're going to start searching for uh, files that has extension pdf and uh, and uh, document and he start downloading them from ibm website so okay as you can see he is downloading the files four from 15 so i'll keep it running for a few seconds because actually depend on the size file it will take time i should make it you should make it like five or something is too much to have it as a 15 so let me just pause until he finish so it's taking too much time so what i'm going to do i'm going to stop the downloading because i should let choose less number of file control z to stop the process and then i'm going to see what has been downloaded and i'm going to check the report as well so open my file you will find a folder under the name of ibm in your home folder where you should find all here you go so those are the files that has been downloaded the pdf and word file and uh, if we go to the home folder one more time you should find an IBM uh, HTML file which include all the results where is it I changed the name I believe did we change the name let's see IBM IBM I don't think he generated the file but anyway let me show you uh, how the file should like uh, look like which is the report it should look like something like this. this is an old report that he was not able to download anything I just need to make sure that we did create the file by the name of ibm.html IBM IBM so anyway it should create the file maybe because we paused it he didn't create the file but my point was that this is how we can use MetaGoFill to uh, 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 search or to utilize Google hacking database to download some files and give you a report about the files that has been downloaded and uh, you can select any kind of file you can select uh, uh, document excel sheet pdf actually let's repeat that with only two files just for the proof of concept because i wanted to show you the report how it looked like so let me uh, repeat that ipm3 for instance and the file name should be ibm3.html and let's see so it should not take long this time because only three files will be downloaded okay here you go this is the report And as you can see, those are the file and the extension that has been downloaded and the result. So anyway, such task will show to the management or to the customer that how much information do you have exposed on the Internet? And accordingly, maybe a policy need to be taken, like uh, ask the uh, administration team, the system administration to check whatever it's available 
on the website and should it be available or because it can be compromised as, as you can see and uh, critical information can be stolen so google hacking is a very very powerful tool if you use it manually as we saw in the previous lecture or if you use an automated tool such as uh, metagoofing